a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace, the following day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river where we supposed there was a place of prayer. And we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. Lydia, one of the few women named in the New Testament and a woman of great interest here in, in the city of Philippi. Lydia is a woman who is a business owner, who is the head of a household. She's independent. We don't know if it's because of divorce or being widowed or never married, but the inheritor of, of an estate. But she's clearly a woman with power and influence. She deals in a business that deals with powerful and influential people. She is a maker of purple cloth, a rare dye and used only um, by those of great wealth and status. And so Lydia moves in the circles of influence and Lydia is a person of means. And Lydia is also one who is following or seeking God and finding herself by the river, perhaps in prayer, who knows, perhaps working, um, but finding herself there and encountering this witness from Paul and the other disciples who are in its midst, who've come down to speak with those by the river. The Lord, it says, the Lord opened her heart to hear what it was that Paul was saying. And she, taken up in the spirit of this moment and, and wanting to draw closer to God, offers herself and her resources to those who are proclaiming God's word in this new and exciting time in the early church. Lydia's house is believed to be the, the center of the movement in Philippi, this Roman city, this cosmopolitan center of culture where Lydia, who seems not to have been born a Jew, but perhaps has been um, adhering to those practices and that morality code and is seeking some sort of religious conversion, she finds herself opening to hear the gospel as, as it is proclaimed by this earliest um, these earliest witnesses and missionaries. And so she opens her heart and she brings herself and all that she has into that response to God's word to her, her home, a center. And yes, we have, um, we have the early church as an itinerant operation right now, going from place to place, but it takes root in a place and through people offering the resources they have, be it their home or whether they gather together and create a place um, of gathering. And of course, this is something that carries forward to our own day in the spirit of Lydia. Many of us are people who have our own enterprises, who are successful business people, who are folks who have our own going concerns, but we are also seeking God. And when we hear a compelling word, when God opens our hearts, to hear the message of Jesus of Nazareth, to hear Jesus calling us into closer relationship with him and to closer relationship with God and God's people, then we too have the opportunity to do as Lydia does here and to offer ourselves, yes, to offer our devotion, yes, to, to, to offer our openness to God's word to us, but also to offer of our resources to support the work of the church. Lydia was a woman who had a lot going on. She wasn't looking for a hobby, but when God came into her life in the form of this proclamation of the disciples of Paul coming and teaching, she heard, God opened her heart, she heard and she responded with all that she had. May you and I, as we are open to God's word in our own life, God's converting um, invitation to us, may we offer of all that we have, whether it is of our resources, whether it's our hospitality, as Lydia did, whatever it is that we have to bring, 
to the collective offering of the church in this world. May God use us as God clearly used Lydia in all of her um, power and influence and hunger for God. May God do the same with you and me. And may God bless you this day. May God bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen.